Check it out, you guys. Night Rider here. Um, in this video, I have an unboxing for you guys and my impression and opinion on this product. Just uh, beforehand, I want you guys to uh, be aware and be aware that I'm not a review at any sense. Do I have any kind of a sense or knowledge of go about actually reviewing a product? So I'm just going to give you guys a little press impression, unboxing, and my opinion on this product. And first of all, if you guys, uh, I'm sure many of you guys have heard of uh, Hypercan products. Hypercan is a company that um, releases new uh, new products to to complement, you know, retro gaming. Um, if you guys uh, follow their high their social media you guys might have noticed this um, there was also people sharing it on social social media so it was kind of easy easy to notice it whether you care for it or not it was plain and see that they were releasing this product and then going to nintendo um you guys remember that for a while the nintendo switch was referred to as a nintendo nx and when nintendo finally uh, made an announcement and revealed the system it was referred as the Nintendo switch which we all know now and at that very point also you guys remember that uh, everybody started posting those memes those images of how the controller looked like a like a dog like a doggy <laughs> some people have fun with it some people were like just you know it's just a cute dog and that's you know it was that simple uh, so based on that, I'm, I'm assuming, and it's easy to assume, that Hyper can jump on that idea. And they actually released this, um, developed this, 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 this Joy-Con to complement that idea. And um, so I'm going to open this up. I did uh, break the seals already to save time for the video. But I haven't actually opened it yet. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't um, gone through it yet. Um... I got through this to one of my coworkers. He, I showed showed him the whole thing. He he ordered them right away, and it's like, oh, give me some too. And so he handed it to me recently, and I and uh, I brought it home, and I showed it to my sons, and I thought they they loved it. It was a good idea. I was like I said, I just broke um, broke the seal, so they haven't actually seen it, but uh, uh, we're gonna take a look what this looks like. Um, and it's referred as to the popper controller attachment. Uh, for the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con. On, um, on social media, they referred it as a Hypercan Lab. I guess like a Labrador, Hypercan Lab. Cool, I guess. Um, let's take it out, see what it looks like. That's it. That's all we got here. Uh, it's, I guess it looks kind of simple. And we got a set of stickers here. This is three different options of different three different stickers. Um, the Joy-Con piece here, and then a USB charger cord. Um, it's it's kind of hard to not to notice that it's it's a little simple idea they they threw together. Is uh, if you're kind of a you know high high expectations, you might get disappointed by this. But uh, I guess based on the idea, it's something simple. You know, I mean, it's you shouldn't expect much. But um, I know people are going to be a little disappointed because it's they're just stickers and you just slap them on. But I mean, I guess it's a good idea to have diff three different options to to set here. And maybe I'm a, getting too ahead of, I'm ahead of myself, but they might be attachable and re, um, detachable so you can interchange them. Or maybe not. Maybe you have to choose one and that's it. Save the other for when they weren't, one wears out. Pull it off, toss it out, place a new one on. Um, I did show the box to my sons uh, when I first got it and they said they thought it was a good idea. Um, I mean, it may be a situation where, like, if you are have high standards and you know what you want, it might be a little disappointing. But I think, I guess, I guess in their defense, I bring it defense, it's just a simple idea that kind of sets, they 
and that's the idea and this product it's just that's all it is I mean you shouldn't expect much but um I guess for 20 bucks uh, I can't really expect much because that's what I pay for it I guess 20 bucks um, I'm gonna slap one of these on and um, see what it looks like uh, but I'm trying to figure out which one I want um, maybe I'll go with this one right here let's see if I can take it off uh, maybe I can take it off here there it is now it certainly seems like a one time use sticker you slap it on and that's it uh, once it uh, once is uh, it's falls apart I guess you take it off toss it out put a new one on but um I mean that's all the really is it's a really simple idea you shouldn't get really high high expectations on this on this product um I guess the idea of Hyperkin is you know just simple ideas with a with affordable price and that's really all you should expect from them um, I'm gonna show this to my kids once I um, I try it out because um, I should maybe I should have brought the Joy-Con to to make the uh, the comparisons but um, it really looks like uh, dimensions I mean dimensions down to actual specifications it might be the exact same Joy-Con holder but um, okay you guys so I guess you guys see what uh, what I'm talking about here. It's really simple. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep it. I mean, I'm sure my kids will like it. It's no big thing. Um, so yeah, I don't regret buying it, uh, but I think I it should have been more informative of uh, Hyperkin what the uh, what this actually was. Uh, I know my, my coworker she was dis disappointed because he said it's just it's some damn stickers you slap on and that's it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's just something simple. Um, I'm already repeating myself. Um, I'm definitely keeping, I'm gonna try it out. So, um, stay tuned for more videos, you guys. Stay for thank you for watching.